The commuter's long wait for better connectivity in the national capital region may finally be over. Road Minister Nitin Gadgari has said that the easterly and westerly bypass connecting parts of Haryana and UP will be completed in the next one year. The expressway is expected to massively boost development in the NCR region. Shweta Kothari has the details. It is a very tough target given by the Honourable Minister to us to complete this work in 400 days. Six months have passed. It is a project of 5700 crore project with 410 structures. We have started work on 295 structures. Out of those 89 structures have been completed. We are putting our best to complete this project in within 400 days. It's been a 12-year wait. The government laid foundation for the peripheral bypass around Delhi as far back as in 2004. The highway was expected to reduce traffic congestion in national capital. Even today, as Delhi reels under dangerous levels of pollution, the goalpost keeps shifting. From one location to another, like Haryana to uh, uh, Gajabad or uh, uh, Faridabad, <coughs> from our and uh, this um, Sonipat, if any commuter want to come from one location to their uh, another location, then right now they are coming from Delhi. Delhi is a very uh, terrible situation about, if you will talk about tariff, uh, traffic situation, mm -hmm. Delhi is very terrible. So what they, if this, this expressway will come, obviously uh, public will use this type of expressway, which will uh, known as an NH2 also. So obviously this will measure effect in real estate sector. Under pressure to fast track infrastructure, finally one can see some light at the end of the tunnel. Road Minister promises to get the highway complete in next seven months. Among the other highlights of the project, work has started on Easterly Expressway connecting Kungli, Ghaziabad and Palwal. The Westerly Expressway connecting Kungli, Manisar and Palwal is around 60% complete. And finally, the first leg of Kunli Manisar Palwal Expressway has been opened since April 2016. Developers who purchased large parcels of land along the corridor are banking upon the progress in this area for positive buyers' sentiments. In our opinion, this is the largest piece of uh, development happening in this region and uh, will lead to a, a lot of new areas opening up, will lead to an excellent connectivity to Gurgaon and parts of Delhi, as well as you know further parts of Rajasthan. So uh, in, in, a, in a larger interest of the region, uh, this could be having an impact like uh, the outer ring road did for Bangalore, or the Noida Greater Noida Expressway did for the entire region of Noida and Greater Noida. This is where the foundation stone for the Eastern Peripheral Expressway was laid back in 2004. And since then, a lot of infrastructural development has taken place in the areas connecting Kundli, Manesar and Palwal. With a lot of real estate players pegging on to these properties as the next hot destinations for real estate. Delay in development and land acquisition has hampered the progress on this crucial bypass for a decade now, leaving the entire region in dire need of seamless connectivity. For a government riding on the wave of growth and development, progress along this national highway could well be used as a yardstick for its performance. Shweta Kuthari for NDTV. Why has work not started on the much-awaited NH24 expansion despite PM's initiative? More information on that after a break.